To start off 2023, we're going to be talking about the fact that apparently there is still a prevalent misconception about sensor size and pixel size in cameras and how they affect image quality. More specifically, my inspiration for this video is people believing that the Sony Alpha 7 IV, as well as similar cameras to it that do full pixel readout in both its full frame and APS-C crop mode, has identical image quality in both its full frame and APS-C crop mode when recording video. To explain further, the Alpha 7 IV, as well as cameras similar to it, do full pixel readouts of the entire imaging area they're using when recording video. So 7K in the full frame mode and 4.6K in the APS-C crop mode, then downscales those to 4K and records it to a video file. Part of this misconception seems to come from the common misinformation online that pixel size is what determines a camera's overall noise performance. In general, this is not the case. I'm not going to go into the physics of why, there's already a few videos out there that explain that very well, but I am going to do some technical tests that show very clearly that this is not the case. All of the test shots are shot on the same lens, the Sigma 24-70 f2.8, stopped down between f5.6 and f11 and using an ND filter to adjust exposure from there, as I am using a very bright LED light to create the harsh contrast in the test scene. To be perfectly honest, I thought the test shots would be closer than they ended up being. The first shot here is slightly underexposed, technically exposed to middle gray as per Sony's instructions for S-Log3, and then raised about one stop in DaVinci Resolve. This allows you to see the noise a bit easier without being so underexposed that you start running into dynamic range limitations. As you can clearly see, the APS-C crop mode is noticeably noisier. Now these test shots were shot at ISO 800, the low base ISO for the Alpha 7 IV when shooting in S-Log3. The more knowledgeable among the non-believers might say that this is something to do with read noise, and that it won't affect the image as much at higher ISOs. So here's the same test shot at ISO 12800. This example is going to be almost entirely shot noise, which is caused by the random number of photons detected by each pixel on the sensor, and it's the same result. Significantly more noise on the APS-C crop mode. Well, what about dynamic range? I can understand why somebody might be skeptical of the dynamic range changing when cropping into the sensor, uh, especially since the best cinema camera in the world for dynamic range, the Arri Alexa 35, uses a Super 35 sensor that is very similar in size to an APS-C sensor in a hybrid camera. The results, however, speak for themselves. The difference in dynamic range actually looks to be more than my expected approximately one stop difference, with the APS-C crop mode not only introducing more luminance noise, but significantly more chroma noise. Something else I wanted to test was the amount of detail captured, since the full frame image is downscaling using a lot more pixels than the APS-C crop mode. 7,008 by 3,942 in full frame versus 4,608 by 2,592 in the APS-C crop mode to be exact. Again, it's pretty clear to me that the full frame recording is not only less noisy, but is also capturing far more detail. Now, none of this is surprising to me. If you understand the physics of how an image is captured, then this all makes sense. However, these tests only prove that the Alpha 7 IV, as well as cameras with similar sensor readout modes to it, have worse image quality in their APS-C crop modes than their full frame recording modes. It doesn't directly disprove the pixel size argument. So let's do that real quick. Here is a test shot showing the Alpha 7 Mark IV in its APS-C crop mode alongside the Alpha 6400. Both of these shots are exposed to the right at their base ISO, then corrected in DaVinci Resolve. They're also both recording in 4K, with the A6400 at 24 frames per second, as it has to crop in slightly to do 30. Taking a close look at the shadows, the A6400 seems to have an odd pattern caused by the older noise reduction system, as well as some compression artifacts likely due to its highest quality recording mode being 8-bit 422 at 100 megabits per second in XAVCS. But the amount of noise itself is very similar between the two, despite the pixels on the Alpha 7 Mark IV being nearly 70% larger. And if we do that detail comparison test again, we can see that the Alpha 6400 downscaling a higher resolution image than the Alpha 7 Mark IV in its APS-C crop mode is allowing it to capture more detail, being only slightly behind the Alpha 7 Mark IV in its full frame mode. Ignoring the 8-bit versus 10-bit color and the differences in their video codecs, the fact that they look so similar should really put the nail in the coffin of the pixel size argument. This is a 4-year-old camera using a 6-year-old sensor at the time of filming this video, 
that cost just $900 when it was released. The Alpha 7 Mark IV currently costs $2,500 US dollars and was released just over a year ago. Yet in its APS-C crop mode, its improvements over something like the A6400 are in anything but noise performance. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to some of you, and I hope it showed some of the diehard deniers that sensor size or imaging area is far more important than pixel size when it comes to dynamic range and noise performance, at least within similar generations of sensor technology. I hope you enjoyed my poor presenting skills, and maybe I'll see you in the next video.